21-8314DP and 21-8314DC air intake systems are engineered to add horsepower and reduce restriction compared to OEM air intakes and they come with a limited lifetime warranty. AEM intakes utilize a reusable dry flow air filter. These oil free filters are durable and very easy to clean. AEM 21-8314DP and 21-8314DC air intakes fit 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2011 Jeep Wrangler models with a 3.8 liter V6 engine. See the AEM catalog or aemintakes.com for complete model list and details. These air intakes are 50 state street legal, carb exempt for some models, but they are not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards on other models. Check aemintakes.com for up-to-date information on emissions legality for specific parts on specific vehicles. AEM power testing showed an estimated power gain of 8 horsepower at 5,400 RPM with this air intake installed on a 2007 Jeep Wrangler with a 3.8 liter V6 engine. Actual results will vary depending on condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather and other variables. Here's a comparison of the vehicle sound on the dyno with the stock OEM system versus AEM's air intake. AEM air intakes come with detailed instructions which include pictures and diagrams. AEM intakes are engineered for specific vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Preparing Vehicle Make sure vehicle is parked on level surface. Set parking brake. If engine has run in the past two hours, let it cool down. Disconnect negative battery terminal. Do not discard stock components after removal of the factory system. Removal of stock system. Factory airbox configuration for Jeep Wrangler. Loosen the hose clamp, securing the inlet tube to the throttle body. Locate the IAT sensor on the inlet tube and release the wire harness connector from the IAT sensor. Remove the stock breather hose from the airbox lid. Unclasp the two clips, securing the airbox lid. Slide the inlet tube off the throttle body and remove the inlet tube and air filter lid as an assembly. Remove the IAT sensor from the inlet tube and set aside in a safe area. Remove the stock air filter and remove the lower air box by pulling straight up. Remove the three stock grommets. Remove the self-tapping screw securing the fan shroud. Keep this screw for later use. Engine bay after the stock air box system has been removed. Installation of AEM intake system. When installing the intake system, do not completely tighten the hose clamps or mounting hardware until instructed to do so. Prepare the supplied bolts with the small washers. Place the two supplied spacers into the inserts that the lower stock grommets were removed from during step 2H. Insert the hardware assembled in step 3B through the heat shield holes. Guide the bolts through the spacers that were installed in the previous step. Secure the bolts with the supplied washers and nuts to secure the heat shield. Refer to the diagram for proper assembly. Secure the heat shield's tab to the fan shroud using the stock screw removed in step 2I. Secure the rubber mount to the heat shield with the supplied washer and nut. Install the edge trim onto the heat shield's top edge. Also line the heat shield's opening with the supplied rubber edge trim. Attach the coupler onto the throttle body. Slide the intake pipe into the coupler and loosely secure with the provided hose clamps. The number 44 hose clamp goes onto the throttle body and the number 52 hose clamp goes on the intake pipe side. Align the intake pipe's bracket to the rubber mount installed on the heat shield and loosely secure the bracket to the rubber mount. Install the grommet into the intake pipe's small inlet hole. Then insert the IAT sensor into the grommet. Connect the IAT extension harness to the factory IAT harness. Then connect the extension harness connector to the IAT sensor. Secure the wire harness with the supplied zip tie so it is situated in a safe position. Attach the stock breather hose to the intake pipe nipple. Then secure it with a supplied hose clamp. 
Install the AEM air filter onto the intake tube and secure it in place with the supplied number 52 hose clamp. Reassemble vehicle. Position the inlet pipes for the best fitment. Be sure that the pipes or any other components do not contact any part of the vehicle. Tighten the rubber mount, all bolts, and hose clamps. Check for proper hood clearance. Readjust pipes if necessary and retighten them. Inspect the engine bay for any loose tools and check that all fasteners that were moved or removed are properly tightened. Reconnect negative battery terminals and start engine. Let the vehicle idle for three minutes. Perform a final inspection before driving the vehicle. It will be necessary to check AEM air intakes periodically for realignment, clearance and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. Go to AEMintakes.com to find products, download installation instructions, view dyno charts showing estimated horsepower gains, and for other product details.